This is our future utility vehicle. And when we say future, of course, we mean technology. And in terms of technology, I'm not only talking about the hydrogen powertrain, but I'm also talking about the design of the vehicle, the features of the vehicle as well. For example, you have the daytime running lights here. The daytime running lights run all the way across the front of the vehicle, and this is truly unique in the full automotive sector. Then here, we've got the composite headlights. The composite headlights, of course, are a Hyundai Pacific feature. Then we've got our cascading grille, which is, of course, Kende Pacific as well. And then in the front, to help with aerodynamics, we've opened up the bumper here in the front. So typically you would have a lot of air buildup. This has now been opened up so that air can simply flow through and give you the most aerodynamic ride as possible. Here along the side of the vehicle, we've also integrated technology into the design as well. You see here, the air dam is opened up so the air flows across the wheel. Of course, you think wheels aren't very aerodynamic, but we've optimized the design of this wheel so that the maximum amount of air flows over it while the minimum amount still goes in and cools off the brake. Also along the side here, we have retractable door handles. It's the first time we've introduced them. Now, it also helps, of course, aerodynamics overall. Here on the back of the vehicle, we have the D-pillar spoiler. Now this is an actual functioning spoiler which speeds up the air that's coming across so that the car has the best aerodynamics possible. Then on the back, you see that we have no rear wiper. It's actually been hidden up underneath the rear spoiler here, giving the car the best aerodynamics possible. Here on the interior of the vehicle, we have many new innovative features, such as the shift-by-wire system. With shift-by-wire, it's a simple press of a button to select the gear that you need. On top of that, the shift-by-wire system has allowed us to open up the center console. So underneath, we have the tray where you have wireless charging, USB, and of course storage for other items. On top of all of this, we offer the 12.3 inch navigation screen. Now this displays not only navigation, but also where your power is coming from. And on top of that, all the fuel cell stations along your route to make sure you get where you're going. We have a new innovative safety feature called blind spot view monitoring. With blind spot view monitoring, you turn on your turn signal and the camera here in the side mirror actually shows you what's in your blind spot. Now most people would think, of course, why can't I just turn around myself and look what's in the blind spot? This is, camera has been optimized to see better than what the human eye can see in the rain and at night. On top of all of this, in terms of safety, we also have lane following assist. Now lane following assist is the next step of lane keeping assist. Lane keeping assist typically only looks at one lane. This takes it to the next step and is watching both sides of the lane or the road edge, keeping the exact center all the time that you're driving. Overall, there's also remote parking assist, so when you find a parking spot and perhaps it's too small to get out of the vehicle. You drive past the spot, turn on the remote parking assist, simply step out of the vehicle, press the button on the key, and the car can park itself, either a 90 degree parking spot or parallel parking.